In the town of Haggardville, where deadlines loom and phones ring, lived a boss named Herb, who had a story to sing. A tale of two workers in this office hive, Jeffrey, the Grinch, and John Lou Who, striving to thrive. So gather round, my festive friends, in Haggardville's glow, for a yarn of mischief, redemption, and Christmas snow. In Haggardville of Christmas yore, chill in the air but warmth at its core, John Lou, who with festive delight, and Jeff Grinchworthy, no nice bone in sight. John, a busybody with holiday glee, Jeff, a meanie with no cares to degree. So children, gather close. Let the story unfold as the tale of mischief in Haggerville is told. Good afternoon. This is John Lou Who of Haggardville. How may I help you? <laughs> Gee Willikers, sir. You're looking to buy $500,000 worth of metalworking supplies? Well, that's just great. I'm sorry, sir. Can I get your name again, please? Sir? Sir? Could I get... <laughs> Jeffrey! Jeffrey, a troublemaker, oh, what a sight. An annoyance in Hagerville causing a plight. Oh, here we are at the office, yay! Merry Christmas to you today! Oh! Jeffrey! Now we can see Jeff was a troublesome chap. Quite obnoxious mischief fell on his lap. I'll have a blue Christmas. Print! <laughs> Jeffrey! When it came to John and Jeff, it was merely a feud, but Jeff plundered the needy and stole all their food. <laughs> free food! Free food! Free food! Free food! No, Jeffrey, that food is not for you. It's been donated by all of us for the less fortunate for Christmas. It's here. There's no price tag, so it means it's free to me. It's not for your mean green self. Jeffrey! Uh, 
Good evening, folks. We have a touching story coming in from our community tonight. Unfortunately, it's not the usual holiday cheer we'd like to share. Our reporter, Tim Hammershaft, is live at the women's shelter with more details. Tim, what's happening there? Thanks, Bob. A tragic incident unfolded at the women's shelter earlier today. Someone yet to be identified has stolen all the food donations collected for the shelter's holiday festivities. Despite this setback, the resilient spirit of the shelter staff and its residents is shining through. They're determined not to let this theft ruin their Christmas. That's truly disheartening news, Tim. Can you share how the community is responding to this unfortunate situation? Absolutely, Bob. The outpouring of support from the community has been overwhelming. Businesses and individuals alike are rallying together to replace the stolen donations. It's heartening to see the true meaning of Christmas shine through even in the face of adversity. I had the chance to speak with the shelter director and see his Jeff, quite and tricky and unkind is true, but behold his heart and magical view. Through ten sizes, a change so grand, learning of his impact, he took a stand. Thank you, Tim, for that touching report. It's moments like these that remind us all of the importance of generosity and compassion, especially during the holidays. John, I, I want to really, really apologize for the way I've been acting. I've been a really bad guy, and I was watching the news about the misfortunate people and, and how, how they don't have anything to eat, and I really want to change my ways. For you too, will you forgive me? Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Ah, oh, thanks, John. Now the table unfolds of John and Jeff started with torment and ended without stress. Sorting things out with smiles and embraces and separable friends filling all the right spaces. And so, in Haggardville, where the copiers hum, Jeffrey found his heart and joy did become. For in each of us, there's a dash of the Grinch, a chance to change with a cheerful pinch. So as we bid farewell to Haggardville so true, may your holidays be bright and your heart grow anew. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and a happy new year too. From Herb and the crew to all of you who's. Merry Christmas from Haggard and Stock in Greensboro. Merry Christmas from Imperial Fasteners. Merry Christmas from Indy Aerospace. Merry Christmas from the Warehouse. Merry Christmas from Accounting. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from IT. Merry Christmas from Purchasing. And inventory. Tim Crosby. Merry Christmas from Customer Service. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Team Marketing. Well, we're wrapping up 2023. It's been an interesting year. We want to bring a little joy, a little happiness, a little craziness. And as you can see, the craziness seems to override everything else. So yeah, we want to say, be careful, be safe, and uh, let's look forward to 2024. And I want to thank all the employees, the vendors, the banks, and the accounting, the lawyers. Everybody has been an active part, participant in 2023. Thank you again. And likewise, I want to say thank you to our employees, our customers, our vendors. We enjoy putting this together because we want to have a little fun. We want to work hard. We want to play hard. But the main thing is we want to let everyone know how much we appreciate you by having a little fun and putting a smile on your face. So from all of us to you, we just want to say 
Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy, Happy New Year. Year.